Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Zoom and Adobe Spark together to create a green screen video. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing we want to do here is go into Zoom and create a meeting. It doesn't have to be a meeting that anyone's going to join. You can see here I've created a demo green screen one, two, three as the topic for my meeting. I'm going to go ahead and start this meeting. I'm going to launch the desktop client that I have for Zoom meetings. So it's important to note I'm doing this with the desktop Zoom client. So I'm going to launch this meeting and I'll join with my computer audio. Now, down here, we'll notice I have my video settings. I'm gonna go into video settings here, and right now, I am using the virtual background feature. If I go to none, now we see here I have just my background this way. You notice I have this meeting recording the whole time as well. So I can swap that out. Let's go back to video settings. I'm going to choose a different virtual background. Maybe now I'm in front of the mountains. Or I can switch it up and be in front of this little pond in northern Maine. Or I could be here in front of an old prison, which is now a library. Or I could be back in Bow Island, Alberta, in front of Pinto McBean. Whatever I do, that whole thing is being recorded here in Zoom. Now I'm going to end the meeting. And you'll see that that's now going to convert to be a video file that I have stored on my computer. Once it's converted, we'll take a look at how we can use it in Adobe Spark. I'm going to save that right here on my desktop as a place that I can just quickly find it. So again, there's my new Zoom meeting. And we'll see out my desktop and I might even go in and rename it so that I know what to call it. And I'll simply call this one demo green screen. Now, I'm going to take that video and I'm going to go into my Adobe Spark account and create a new video here. Now, when I create this new video, we'll just call this one demo green screen. And I'm going to start from scratch. I'm not going to use a template. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to now upload that, that green screen video that I made with Zoom. So let's find that my desktop, demo green screen. And you can see here on this next screen, I can select how much of it I want to include. We can slide that along as we need. Okay, we're going to include a little bit here or more. Okay. You can move that whole slider around and select the portion that I need to this. Now, if I need to select more than just this little bit, what I can do is upload it again and select a different segment. So I'm going to save this part. Save that little video clip. And then on the next slide, I'll add in that same video again, but I'll select a different portion. All right, so if I want to use more of that same video clip, let's add a next slide. I'll add in the video again. And this time, I'll move my time slider a little selection tool, and I'll select the next section 
that I want to include. And again, it's going to save that video clip as another slide for me. So now I have my two clips right here in my video. I've got this first clip, and that's followed up by the second clip that I made in front of the green screen or using the green screen effect in Zoom. And if I need to edit this, I can simply click on it and this pencil icon appears and I can then go in and use any of those editing tools to trim the video or to change the volume of the video clip. When I'm all done, I can go ahead and download it as an MP4. If I want to preview it, hit that preview and it'll render a preview for me. So let's say I'm happy with my preview. I'm now going to hit that download button and I'll get this video downloaded as an MP4 on my computer, which I can then use anywhere that I like, including on YouTube, Vimeo, or any other place that I would typically share my videos. All right, so there's my demo green screen video. It's now downloaded. I'll just drag it to my desktop. And of course, I can always go back into Adobe Spark and continue to edit this project if I wanted to add some more clips that I create in Zoom and import them into Adobe Spark, I can certainly go back and add those in. So that's how you can create a green screen video using Zoom and Adobe Spark, even if you don't actually have a green screen. As always, for more things like this, please check out practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.